Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wise Man White again. Thanks for checking out another video at the Tech Temple. And my last video, I was showing off um, on my apps, you know, and I got a lot of questions about what ROM am I running, and so I'm going to go over it. Right now, I'm running a ROM, and it's called uh, Slim ICS. So I'm going to let it boot up so you can see how fast it is. Um, so what I call it Slim ICS is because of the size of the actual ROM. Most ROMs, when you get them, they're somewhere between, you know, like 80 or a little in 100 megabytes. This one only runs 60. So you have a smaller footprint for the ROM, which will help it run faster overall. Um, this particular version, I'm running version 3.1 that was released today. And not only that is the actual build small, but the RAM that this ROM uses is also smaller. So your phone will run faster because of that. And see the nice little boot screen right there. Um, normally, I will go ahead and put the default Nexus S 4G on there because I, I think it's a really cool um, boot screen. But this slim one is very nice, so I leave I left that on there. But so when you do flash this, first you want to flash the base, and then you want to flash the essentials. So if you have a Nexus S 4G, you want to flash the Crespo 4G essentials, and then you want to flash the add-ons. Um, right now, I flash 2.9 add-ons because there are no 3.1 add-ons right now. This ROM is available for the Nexus S 4G, the Nexus S, um, the Galaxy Nexus, and I think a few other uh, Samsung um, Galaxy S series of devices. So check my uh, the link on the website. I'll put it below the video, and you can check to see if this ROM is available for your device. So right off the bat, you can see... Um, one of the things that's different is you can you have the battery percentage and you have the calendar. This is actually my calendar from my Gmail account. So I have, so I have a bill due on Sunday. So that's nice. That's one of the features that this ROM provides is that you can put the calendar um, events right on the lock screen. So as you can see, also still has the um, CRT animation off. Also has a CR, CRT animation on too. And also has the, uh, instead of just the answer and unlock, you can customize the lock screen to your liking. Right now I have mine on um, you know, camera, talk, MMS, and unlock. Just to show you that they work. Um, let me go to the call log. Not call log, but you know, the dialer. And I'll turn this off. And another thing, let's see, tune in radio. Tuning works. So let's just show you how the speed of this ROM. You can already see how fast it is. Um, this is my Galaxy wallpaper. If you're wondering what it is, oh, it's pretty nice. You can, you know, go up and go down. Pretty slick. But uh, the major thing you'll probably notice right now is the DPI uh, or the LCD density of my screen. You know, this is a four-inch screen, and normally icons are a little bigger, but this developer made sure that they changed their DPI to 182. So I'll show you what it normally looks like. Um, the Nexus S 4G screen. The size. This, just to give you an idea of how much more screen real estate you have with this. So as you can see, um, this is the default normal Nexus S 4G size. Um, one, two, three, four. You got about four tweets here showing in my plume widget. And you have five icons at the bottom. So remember that four and five. Now look at what I have now. I have one, two, three, four, five, a little bit more. So about five tweets showing. I have seven icons at the bottom. Plus I got room for a news widget up here. So that just shows you how much more screen real estate you'll see. And it's nice because you don't have to get a bigger device to be able to see more, um, to get more on your screen. And at first you'll see it. You might think it's a little small. But trust me, you'll get used to it and you'll want to keep it. So in addition to that, I'll show you some more of the settings. Um, advanced slim settings, ASS is where you would go. Um, general UI, take, a, take off the boot animation, allow 180 rotation. So if you, uh, it also rotates pretty well. So that way your phone's upside down. If you got, this is really handy if you have a charger at the top of your device. That way you can still have it this way and it's on your way. And it's a nice animation flipping back. 
but I don't use that, so I'll take it off. Um, CRT animation, you're just seeing that like that. IME switcher, so if you have this check marked, when you, let's see, write a mail, Gmail, I'll uh, compose a mail real fast. Email. Now, normally, let's say I didn't want to use this keyboard. Let's say I wanted to use ShapeWriter. Normally, you would have to go home and go to the settings and then change your language. Right now, you just type that and you just hit uh, your keyboard and you just change the keyboard to whatever you want to. You know, it's a lot faster than going back home. So let me go back to the settings and enable volume option. That'll let you separate your ringtone volume from your other audio, such as games. Um, custom carrier label, as you can see right there, I got Wise Man White at the bottom instead of Sprint. Hold back to kill. That'll if you hold the back button, it'll kill the app instead of just going back, 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 or instead of holding this and swiping it away because sometimes it doesn't kill it. If you just hold the back button, it'll kill it. So let me show you. I'm in tune in. If you just hold the back button and it tells you application killed, you get a toast notification. And rotation delay. If you don't want your screen to turn this quickly, you can speed it up. You can slow it down or you can speed it up. Navigation bar. This is handy for the Nexus, uh, the Galaxy Nexus. Um, one thing I don't agree with Google doing is they got rid of the menu bar, the menu button, and the search button. Why would you get rid of the search button and your Google? People know you for search. Why would you get rid of that? I have no idea. But if you have a Galaxy Nexus, you are saved because if you go to this enabled buttons, not only do you have the home, the back, and the tasks, you can enable the search button and you can also enable the menu button. So you can get your search and your menu button back. Thank goodness. I know some of you have missed it. Um, but I don't need this because we have, for Nexus S4G and you know, other devices, we have uh, buttons. So I don't need to enable that. Last screen options, I already showed you that um, you can customize whatever you want on here. Sound on, sound off. Um, I showed you that the battery percentage is there and also already talked about the calendar. It pulls things from your Gmail calendar and you can tell it what labels to sync or what labels not to sync. There's a calendar sources right there. And those are where you set the custom maps. And volume controls, when your screen is off, you can fast forward or rewind a track. Yeah, she said, she said you ain't no good, no good, but you feel so good. Hey, she, said, she said, what if I could, but I gotta leave you alone. Yeah, yeah.